Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. It's so great to have you here uh, for this third um, webinar that uh, Paratisol is hosting. Uh, we are very happy to have you here and uh, welcome, welcome. And I know that many people are arriving right now, so make sure um, that you put your, um, that uh, all of your microphones have been silenced, right? And um, if you wish, just to make sure that you have the best internet quality, um, just make sure that you turn your camera off. But uh, we, uh, we would like to have a, um, um, a group photo if we have uh, time by the end of today's presentation so we can have a group photo, okay? So I would like, but I'll let you know when to do that. In the meantime, uh, feel free to turn your cameras off so you can ensure internet quality. So thank you so much for being here again. And let me introduce you to Vicente Aguilar. He's going to be sharing with us some uh, tips uh, for teaching uh, English in our, um, in our uh, settings, in our scenarios. So welcome, Vicente. Thank you for being here. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, sorry, I won't be able to see your chat. Team. Uh, they will let me know what you're writing. And I would like you to fasten your seatbelts because we're going to go like crazy, like an F1 car. We're full of a bunch of ideas that you can share and implement as soon as possible with your classes. And I hope you like it. Well, I'm going to start sharing my, my screen, and let's start. Okay, here we go. Okay, hope you all see that. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Thank you to Paratisol again, one more time, and let's start. All right, we're gonna be focusing on two main topics. The first one is gonna be working remotely, that, that's what most of us are doing. And the second one will be if it's for teaching online. I remove uh, adults because the ideas that I'm gonna share with you are ideas that you can uh, basically fit into any level in any age. All right. Um, please, Elena, tell me some, something that they are reading there. And that's the first question. What was different from your daily routine with your current one? If you can type it out in the chat. And Elena, Natalie, if you can read a little bit. All right, so mm -hmm. um, some of the people, besides saying hello, uh, they are saying everything. Lillian says everything. <laughs> so let's see what the rest says. What was different from your daily routine, from your current daily routine? The whole thing changes a lot. Um, right now, it's pretty much different, all the mm -hmm. planning. Basically, home office, most of yeah. the things changed. These are a lot of work. A lot of work, a lot of things to correct. A lesson lot of plans. Lesson plans, and we have to teach as well. All Working right. so Let's many move. hours, no more free time. Time, no so it seems that time, time is, yeah. Essential, exactly. And this is what we're gonna talk in. This is what we missed so far. Uh, being in class with our students, and basically after that oof, something suddenly happened our not a friend i would say but something show up that really changed our our lives and we need to be uh take a look at this chart that i collected some information from the press this is what we face in paraguay 
some of them are, are as you can see at the beginning, especially with, with a lot of uncertainty. What are we going to do? Uh, are we going to suspend classes all, all over the year? There's no connectivity, uh, lack of information, teachers not prepared, students as well. Well, we are in the process of improving this. Sometimes yes, sometimes not. It's not easy. Especially, uh, I don't find, I didn't find any country that was really, really prepared. Okay. Uh, there is, I'll allow you to get inside theirs into menti.com and type the code that you can see there. And I'll allow you to start typing. Um, how do you feel working online? How do you, if you feel stress, how do you feel? Just go ahead and enter in menti.com. The code is 508344. And tell me some of your ideas. I'm gonna stop sharing this for a, for a while. And then I will go into the other one. Start typing your ideas there, please. <laughs> so we go along here. No, this is the one. Soon it will pop up your words. Well, this is another problem that we're going to face. Normally it's like that. Once, uh, depends on the time, the internet service in our country. Unfortunately, it's not that fast, and especially um, when it's, um, when you got a lot of people connected. Well, I'm gonna skip this. Uh, oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, are you typing your words? Come on, sweetie, I have to treat her nicely. That's the code again, 508344, and start typing your ideas, and then submit so it can pop up here in the chart. Well, some of the ideas are coming up, but I don't know why it's not coming, but I can, I can feel that how you feel, I mean, it's, that's, this is something normal, happens many times. So we're gonna skip this. Uh, I'm sure you feel saturated, you feel tired. There it comes again. Um, I can show you the, the answers if you allow me. Can you? Uh, at least can you yeah. read it? Yes, yeah, I please can, do. I can read. Do you want I'm me to stop read, sharing. Uh, read them to you? Yes. Uh, the word that pops yeah. up the most, we, we can read. share this, uh, is challenged, overwhelmed, challenging, stressed, anxious, mm -hmm. tired, time, it's time consuming. So those are the words that pop up the most. Challenged and overwhelmed mm -hmm. and a little bit of stressed and tired. Great. Thank you. Sure. Let's keep on moving. Uh, and this is basically uh, a typical teacher. Uh, have, I don't know, four schools probably. Most of the teachers who are working in, in school, high schools and primary, they have four, four schools, four courses, uh, and 30 students in each. Now, that's the minimum probably. And for all of that, you need to, can you see my screen? Let me see, okay. There we go. Well, now probably you can see it. 
uh, we need to make a time for that and we don't have too much time. Besides, we need to go over um, to make a pie chart like this in order to introduce all the different schools, the different activities, and that includes our lives, okay? We are human beings. Uh, we need time to spend with our families. We need to go and exercise. We need to relax a little bit too. That has to be part of your daily routine and you need to include in your agenda. Uh, we can't see your, your screen. You your see? No, your Mentimeter is still on. Oh, uh, still there. Uh, okay, thank you for letting me know. Let sure. me know, okay, I was, mm -hmm. let's see, let's see, chuk, 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 chuk. happens. Mm -hmm. There you go. There? Yes. Okay. How about there? Yes, wonderful. Okay, wonderful, great, thank you. Okay, so this is what we need to face. We need to find time to, to plan and to continue working on this, all right? So for that reason, and this is more or less my schedule, and my best friend in all of this is uh, Google. He knows me better than my wife and my family, basically. All right, let's continue. All right, this is how it looks like. We were supposed to be teaching online, and this is what people, or what I thought it would do to be at home working, spending more time with my family. This is the ideal, all right? But what do we have here? Okay, this is what people think we do. I mean, we're having super time, enjoying it, but the reality is what? What do you think? This. This is what we are facing. Uh, I know you, but sometimes I start at eight o'clock in the morning and I don't stop until 10 and 11 because that includes planning, that includes giving classes, correcting them, et cetera, et cetera. This is a chart that basically explains how do we're gonna be work. We have what is a, how we teach. We have to, to somehow know what is synchronic and asynchronic. Um, those of you who attended many classes, like uh, Elena and the other, the other speaker mentioned, there were wonderful, fantastic classes. Um, we have synchronic like lectures, like Do It Now. Uh, WhatsApp is also synchronic and many others. And asynchronic, uh, we have Millimore, which we have Moodle, we have Canvas, and fantastic things you can do it there. Now, you need to establish how you're gonna be working with your students, the, like a self-directing, you're gonna have discussion forums, you're gonna have small groups, and how you will communicate with them through email, through WhatsApp, Zoom, you're gonna have announcements, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a pretty much chart that is gonna be available for you uh, after this presentation through Paradiso. All right. But this time, I'd like to focus a little bit more into these super amazing superheroes. We are also, but these are more. Know this, remember this in the uh, teacher's day? Some of the teachers have to go up, up in the top to find signal. Other teachers have to go uh, to their students' uh, home in order to pick up and then deliver again their homework. They have no access to internet, basically. And if they have, they have a fair, okay, then superheroes. All right. Now, this is a typical teacher, and I'm gonna be focusing more on these kind of, of teachers, because those of us who have internet and we have um, access to a computer, internet, we have a lot of resources. But those who don't, look at this is the everyday life. This is how they receive their, uh, their pieces of homework from their students. And this is how they get the feedback and they spend it all, that, all day long. And students think that we are ATM. 
the students thinks that uh, we are available 24 hours and only for them. And honestly, we don't have the time to manage them all, okay? And besides that, we have our directors, our coordinators, and parents picking on, uh, on us. Hey, what are you doing? You're not teaching, you're not. Uh, and teaching online is not teaching. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, my God. So, for that reason, I'm going to show you some ideas, especially for those teachers who have very little access. And this is one of them that, yeah, I got it from Oxford, and this is to teach uh, through WhatsApp classes. For example, we got here text to text, and the student has to pick up one sentence from the book, leave a blank there, and send it to the student, to their classmates, for example, and without the underscore that is substitute. And the student has to look for that sentence and complete. You can you can do this as games, for example, and to review units or, or to look for new, new vocabulary that the students get into where with their books, they manage their books and their manage sentences. And they have a lot of fun because students like to be challenged. For example, another one here is a, how do you spell? Student has to say a word like, I don't know, uh, so dystopia, and the other has to spell it, okay? One set of the audio, and they have to reply with the typing word. And you can give them time, so, and, and they, they have a game like this. Or the, another idea would be is audio to audio, as you can see the symbols here, uh, which basically here, the symbols, and it says, says Suggestopedia. Suggestopedia is blah, blah, blah. They give a definition. Obviously, that depends on the level of the students. Another one we have here, this idea is English in my community. Photos are very important. Pictures. They take pictures and, and they give, uh, for example, this is my community. This is my neighborhood. I have a house. My house is this. And they start describing. Else, they can um, record a 30 second presentation where they can introduce themselves or they can introduce later on other activities that I'm going to be showing you. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay. All right, How about this. Uh, what do you think it is? This is a typical uh, conversation of teenagers. I myself love to write in and in codes and variations and many of you who are here know me very well so this is a, another challenge another exercise i give to my students for example and what do you think is here so elena if you can tell me please what the teachers are writing i would highly appreciate what is the message in this um, chat message and if you can make out all the, if you cannot understand the entire message, but you just understand a few phrases or words, go ahead. Yeah, exactly. Let's see. I couldn't, uh, when, when I saw this one, I couldn't make all the words, just a few. <laughs> Yeah. Your book listening, really your students, in. you'll watch a YouTube video. Uh -huh. Good job. Keep going. Other ideas? Any other? Yes. There you go. Workbook listening to your students tonight. There you go. Uh -huh. One person doesn't like uh, the, the exercise, and it's yeah, I know. That's, that's, that's an exercise. You will watch. YouTube video. So they love to be challenged, you know. Mm -hmm. Challenge them. Be prepared. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Okay, shall we provide the answer? Sure, go ahead. Tonight and as some Tonight. tomorrow you will send your great. Okay. And the answer is anyone can. Here we go. You see, so some ideas, and they can they can write that, can text to your friends, 
and they can uh, uh, encode that message. Uh, no, you know, that's an exercise and, okay. So that's one of the exercises. Well, yeah, and these are some ideas. This is a list, a glossary of the words that you can use and abbreviations. Besides, they can have, yeah, I yeah, know, <laughs> but not impossible. Remember that. Okay, and it's fun. That's the word, the most important thing. You have a list of things here. You can add some others, and it's important to have some glossaries. All right, let's keep going on this. And what do we do? Oh man, this list. Who doesn't like to have a pet? Okay, so what you can do is describe your pet. So in any of the ideas here, we can have a text, we can have photo, now we have a photo. You can record your pet, you can have a video out of your pet, and then you can, you can give an oral presentation, and later on we're gonna be talking with emojis. All right, so here, it's an idea of how you will present your description. Obviously, you model first, and then the students can do it on their own with their own pets. Well, I hope you like it. This is uh, very nice. Previously to that, you will be teaching the adjectives, word, uh, the word order of adjectives, descriptions, and they can use this as skeleton. They can use this as skeleton and go on and then in every class, they have uh, basically um, present their, their pets, two or three students, and then you do another, another activity. All right. If your reality is not that, is Zoom classes. Here are some ideas. Okay. This is how we are now so far. Okay. These are another that we can do it. Okay, start talking about, like similar to the other one, start talking about your cat or your pet uh, or any, uh, if you have a turtle, uh, get closer to your uh, camera and give your eyeball so everybody can laugh, you know. Um, some other activities. I got, this, I like this, for example, give a tour to your entire house. If you are on your mobile, you can do that, for example. Okay, you go, go ahead and, and tour your audience. This is my kitchen. Here in my kitchen, I have blah, 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 the furniture that you have there. This is my bedroom. In my bedroom, I have lots of, of clothes and all disorder. Be sure to, to have your clothes in order. And, and the others can listen, and as the audience are and are listening, they can start taking notes. This is also important for students. Uh, and then you said, what was in, in Macarena's bedroom? Mm -hmm. So they can start and they can report it. Okay, so these are some of the ideas that you can share at Zoom's, uh, Zoom's classes. Let's continue. Also, you can do this, read stories out loud. Every student can have, uh, or watch a funny video, as, as uh, Hershini is saying, read stories out loud. So every student read a line. The students can listen and write the, um, um, teachers especially can write some of the problems where they, they are not pronouncing correctly. Another one, one of my favorites is a scavenger your hand. How would you play scavenger your hand in Zoom? Any ideas? Yeah, this is a lot of TPR. Uh, just because of uh, the time is running and scavenge your hand here, you can say, for example, okay, it's, I need you to show me, uh, uh, put it in your camera, the person who gets the, the fastest uh, a remote control. The students go abandon their cameras, abandon, and they go find a remote control. Okay, now yeah, you find a remote control. Give me, um, Keys, keys to your house. Students go running everywhere. I mean, um, <laughs> fall or whatever. So the students can show you and they can get score of that. Okay. Yes, same as where's Wally. Exactly. All right. And another one is, there you go, the mystery bag. Another great one. 
So every student will have a chance to have a mystery bag and the others have to guess. What do you think I have in my bag? Mm -hmm. And the students, uh, you can put like 10 questions, 10 to, uh, 20 questions, and they can be escorted, they can play in teams. I think you have a toy and see, and then they keep on asking, and as they are guessing it, you have your mystery back. So plenty of, a lot of ideas here, uh, and they are enthusiastic and a lot of TPR. And I got this idea from this person. You can have a lot of teachers publishing. And this is ideas from Zoom from Angie Olsen. All right, let's continue talking. Another one, do you, this is one of my favorites too. And this is what we do a lot. And you can combine with WhatsApp, Emoji World. Okay, so when a student gives an exposition, they can just, instead of talking, they judge their uh, classmates' presentation using this. Okay, oh yes, I love your presentation. No, your presentation was horrible. Hmm, I wonder what you think about that. And also, you can do a lot of storytelling, narration, and typically substitute by these emojis. Okay, so they can just go ahead and, and you can use this and you can time the, the other students. They can read out loud and they can encode what is the emoji that they are using and they read. So, and you give them, I don't know, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, so they can decode the information and read it out loud. Save it in, a, in an audio and send it to the group. Okay. Here you got another list of emojis that you can use, typically used in English. All right. And I'm sure we have our more. This is good. And you can adapt it to your yes, ideas. <laughs> another one you can use uh, other ideas are from Instagram or Face or Facebook. Uh, you have these conversations um, normally, for example, here. Um, do you recognize any of these singers or characters? You can make them listen to a Facebook or Instagram live session and they, they take notes. They take notes and they say, and you say, for example, Katy Perry, for example, uh, who is she? What does she do? It, it mentions three of her favorite, uh, three of her songs that you like it. Okay. And, uh, and things, uh, what do you know about her life? All the type of questions. What, what was the conversation about? Write down, for example, three questions that were, that were asked in that conversation and what did she reply? And they can interact again. That question, for example, uh, one of the questions that you can ask to another, how would you answer to that question if you are Katy Perry? You know, a lot of time, uh, oh, Jesus, we're running out of time. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so these are some ideas that you can have here. All right, here, there's another one, memes. I love memes, all right? Some of them are famous all, all over the world, and you got this, uh, the local ones, like uh, here. You can make them talk, or you can make them uh, describe you that meme. How are we doing with time? Um, Elena? We have 30, I mean, we, so far we've, uh, we, you have shared for 30 minutes. Okay. So we're good. We're good. All right. Fantastic. Uh, I, I show you just emojis that you can use a lot of them. Use the potential of a, of a picture. Another one, another idea I got from American English, which is- okay, recently, very I just wanted to let you know that we got an upgrade, so we, we, we will have a few more minutes. So just okay. for you to know. Great, thank you so much. Thanks, Zoom. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Now, here, for example, in American English, you can get a, um, a snapshot. I don't know. Get a snapshot of what you like on that day. And then they show it with the group, and then they, they start describing. First, I recommend you that. Go in a picture. Go in an oral description. Record that. And then later on, they can, they can write on that. So in here in American English, for example, and resources, you got millions of activities. You are gonna be tired of having 
and you've got ready-made activities uh, that you can just download and some of them are readers with um, ready-made materials and exercises that you can do it. All right, let's keep moving. And then, as I said, also in American English for Educators, we have basically every month we have webinars. I recommend you to practice and to get into those webinars. They are fantastic webinars. They are put in by the American Embassy um, and they share it in two different times and different topics after. And obviously, and I'm one of them, I strongly recommend you to, to do these MOOC courses are fantastic. Eight weeks intensive training program with American universities. I, I was awarded twice um, with two different universities and I strongly recommend you. So to get more ideas about this, and these are some of the, the courses that you can do it. And either Jasmine or Germán Caballero, uh, will, you can contact them and they will provide you. Basically, they are with us, supporting us and giving us this information through mail, through WhatsApp, and they give it, please take advantage. These are really great courses that you can do it online and free because your education is also important. After you finish these MOOC courses, we wait for you to become part of our family at State Alumni in Paraguay, which is our, all the, the basically uh, all the scholars, all the, the ones that, who won any scholarship from the American Embassy. And we are also doing a lot of uh, activities and you will be welcome to join our family. All right, and here is the information about the email and the cell phone. You can contact us any moment. Now, Richmond also offer you fantastic activities here. This is a description of one of their books, which is called My Own. You can do listening, you can do exercises, you can um, play with it. And, and they also have fantastic books with platforms. And contacts there, you have their names here, Mirta and Leo. I have, I put their names and their cell phone numbers. From Pearson, uh, you got a lot of materials too, you can download it. It's just a matter of looking for it. Um, and activities here. Um, this also, every book has a platform, a fantastic platform that you can control your students, assign, correct them. Platforms really make your life easier. That's what I do, Moodle and Canvas, or some people use Classroom too. They are great to control and to easy pace and coordinate your classes. Um, I cannot forget another great publish, publisher, which is Oxford. You got some ideas here for methodology, classroom, they also have books with platform that you can use it a lot. And now they also uh, free their readers. They are full of material. Contact with them. You got Richard Kennedy uh, and they got their contact there. Now, people, here is what I would like to stop a little bit. And you tell me, I want you to tell me uh, what makes a good life for you. But one thing. I like you to tell me from the perspective you are from 18 to 20 years old. Reply me with that when you are 15, no, sorry, 18 to 20. So you can help me. Okay, that's great. Help me with the, uh, with the answers, please, Elena. Mm -hmm. Sleep, fun, laugh so far. Go out, have fun, food. Drive, family, friends, music, sleep, meet friends, mm -hmm. dreams, Good. read a book. All right. Now, I got this idea from here, and I strongly recommend you to use it too. Let me see. And I'm sure many of you know that very well, extremely well. I strongly recommend you, and you can have an adapted. Let me see. There we go. 
Can you see it there? Yes. Now see, some of the ideas are similar to the presenter's idea. What keeps us healthy and happy as we go through life? If you were going to invest now in your future best self, where would you put your time and your energy? There was a recent survey of millennials asking them what their most important life goals were. And over 80% said that a major life goal for them was to get rich. And another 50% of those same young adults said that another major life goal was to become famous. <laughs> and we're constantly told to lean in to work, to push harder <laughs> and achieve more. We're given the impression that these are the things that we need to go after in order to have a good life. Pictures of entire lives, of the choices that people make and how those choices work out for them, those pictures are almost impossible to get. Most of what we know about human life, we know from asking people to remember the past. And as we know, hindsight is anything but 2020. We forget vast amounts of what happens to us in life. And sometimes memory is downright creative. But what if we could watch entire lives as they unfold through time? What if we could study people from the time that they were teenagers all the way into old age to see what really keeps people happy and healthy? And the video continues. Sorry about that, but <laughs> I need to. Um, after that, you have basically um, discussions. You have um, multiple choice exercises. And let me see. There we go. I can see here. Here is. Once the student uh, finished watching the video, they got multiple choices here. And the good thing about that is that you can create more questions and you can adapt. This is logging with my profile. And after they, they reply to these questions, uh, so, so you can see if they understood or not, you can go on discussions. Men, believe me, you got lots, millions of ideas Yes, in a lot of interaction with your students. Obviously, this is for intermediate and upper. I wrote some other questions. And what I do here in my, probably in my Zoom class is that make them talk about these questions orally. And then later on, you can assign them, you can provide them, uh, you can send them by email, or they can enter here in your profile and they can write their answers. That would be the, the writing aspect. Well, okay, stop that. Okay. So far, so good? Yes, we're gonna do it. Okay. Let me see. Having some problem here. All right. Can describe me what you see now, please. Okay. Um, we can still see. It. There you go. Okay. So I'm going to start sharing again, jumping from one place to another. All right. Here we go. Oh, I will skip this. And uh, no, don't go. Don't go there. Okay. This is important. I think we must accept, we are almost done, we are almost finishing. And I think you, we must accept that nothing we do in online learning will be the same as real school, obviously. But we have to make every effort to keep going. And this is what we do, basically. Our students need us. That's what Nora Fleming, it's a, it's a teacher that publishes a lot in Edutopia, which is a website that I strongly recommend you to use. All right, and 
no, there is no doubt that the real superheroes are doctors and nurses. But the other anonymous superheroes are who? Who do you think you are? Us, teachers. Yes, we are also superheroes. Even though they are not, our work is not recognized. So the next time the people ask you, what do you do for a living? You say, I'm a teacher. Many people reply, only a teacher? And you will say it again one more time. Yes, I am a teacher. What's your superpower? Okay. So, and I also give you uh, some extra additional here um, resources. Each of them are provided with a link. I strongly recommend you. There are millions of really good May activities that you can use it. What else? Here, also look at this classification. They are classified with grammar, vocabulary, writing activities, speaking, reading. They are all classified. So it's a matter of looking for you know, on, on Dr. Google and start using it. You have plenty of ideas. So basically, uh, we have any comments and questions? Well, most people are mentioning, right, that um, there, are, there are lots of things to learn online. And I'm sure that, you, uh, that uh, many participants are getting lots of other ideas, right? Yes. So we will be sharing your presentation with them as well. So in case they couldn't take notes or they missed something, they can always revisit the links that you have added to your PowerPoint. Um, so we are <clears throat> going to make sure that we have like a bank of presentations for Great. everybody. Fantastic. Thank you so much. So, in uh, our JPMA, in, in, in our language as well. Uh, and I want all of you to stay home, stay healthy. And remember, even apart, we are in this together and we are to support one another. On behalf of the two institutions that I represent also, which is the State Alumni Paraguay and Committee Paraguay Kansas, also our Paradisol group i would like to thank you so much for for being there and for to attend this presentation it's all right. Ooh, it's all right.